Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Dominic Damiano, Antron Peoples, as we give you this fantastic matchup of Mites football between the Mashfield Rams and the home team Bridgewater Badgers. This should be this should be a good game as well, Coach. Captains of midfield as we do the honorable coin toss here. Now I think the Marsh Marshfield is the only team that's that's beaten Bridgewater. Um, I think maybe two years ago the, the same the same team beat the Bridgewater Badgers in the Super Bowl championship uh, game um, at Mass Maritime. Good point. This is good always point. a team that's given um, Bridgewater a problem. And um, hopefully um, for the Bridgewater Badgers on their side, that they're hoping that is a different end result. Exactly. It looks like Mash. It looks like Marshfield has deferred to the second half, which is pretty pretty good. I got I got to step away for a second. All right, now now the now the journalist is ready. So we'll get ready. You're gonna watch some kickoff action. We'll be right back. Badges number 34, Brian Morano, number 12, Chris Weiger. Hi everybody, welcome back. Antron Peoples, Dominic Damiano giving you this midget contest between the Marshfield Rams and the Bridgewater Badgers. And like Coach mentioned prior to the last game, these are the future stars of your high school programs. Back to receive for uh, the Badgers is Christopher Pohl, Christian Pohl. And also looks like number nine, number uh, 39. Here's the kick. Kick is received up top, that was to the 12. Kick is covered by number 12, Chris Pfeiffer. Nice move. Chris Pfeiffer, excuse me for that, on the return. It'll be first and 10, Coach, right at their own 35-yard line as we start this midget Super Bowl action. These kids got pretty good size. Um, like I said, these guys will be in high school next year, and. Um, Look like we got some good guys coming up, man. All right, let's see what we take. They come back in a wishbone formation. Away is Pfeiffer in motion. The give, we'll give you a number in a minute on that one. Richard Reed on the tackle number one. Bryce Cohen on the carry for the Look like number 44, Dom. Nice yeah, little run Cohen. for a gain of four or five yards. Um, on the play on the stop was number 51, D lineman for Marshville, Mr. Sam Crawford. Second and five from their own 40 yard line. The handoff again is number 44. He spins one, two tackles. He could go. What a nice run. That was Mr. Morano on the carry um, for a gain of like 12 yards and um, tackled by number eight on the play from Marshville, Christian Friedel. A little power play there, action coach, off tackle. Yes, sir, looked like, looked like it might have been a trap. Yeah. You know, off tackle, Dom. First and 10 for the Badgers. First and 10 for the Badgers at the Marshfield 47. They go with the three back set now. Long count. Now the handoff the other way. Again, Murano on the play. Stopped by number one for the Marshfield on the team is um, Richard Reed. Play was good enough for seven, second down. Second and about four, we'll say, for the Badgers at the Marshfield 42. Again to Murano. He looks like he could have got tripped up. 
May have had a linesman fought. Tackled by a host of the Marshfield. Yeah, more, a bunch of Rams on that play. 8.04 and running in the first quarter. The, uh, the, Marsh, the Rams playing excellent, excellent defense on that stop, Coach. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. They're, they're, they're attacking the ball. Um, Bridgewater Badgers have a good drive going right now, but um, I tell you what, the Marshfield Rams, they, they're definitely not trying to break. Here we go. Big full house back, back giving to Murano again. Let's see where they spot that ball. That's well enough, good enough for another Badger first down. Yes, sir. Murano is definitely eating the clock up here. Mr. Easton was on the tackle for the Rams, but it seemed like they couldn't stop nope. number 44, 30, was 34 or 44 before he got the first down. Right, right. First and 10 from the Rams. 37. Riley under center. This time he gives it to the fullback. Nice play. He breaks one, two tackles. Bryce Cohn, number 44, the big fullback. Let's see where they mark the ball. That could be very close to another Badger first down. And it is. It is. So here we go, first and 10. It looks like the 26 yard line of the Rams. Riley in the center. He gives it to, he gives it to Bryce Cohen again, but this time the Ram well read by that Rams defense coach. You're correct, Dom. Those Ram defense players attacked the ball that time. They wasn't going for that quick dive that the Bridgewater Badgers was trying to give to him. A loss of two. So here we go, second and 12, right around their own 28 yard line, 29 yard line. It looks like they're playing a conservative 5-3, the Rams are today, coach. Maybe with the spy watching Murano. Riley in the center, two back set out of the wishbone. Long count, the pitch. Breaks one, two tackles. Handful of tacklers on that stop. Bryce Cohn was the ball carrier again. See where they mark the ball here. Bring up third and 12 at the 29 yard line. Look like the Rams are starting to key in on that quick dive yep. that the Bridgewater Badgers are um, running. Number 51. I think all of Marshfield's here today. I don't think there's one person in Marshfield. They're all on that sideline. <laughs> here we go, third and 12 from the 29, 5, 17, and running in the first quarter. Riley in the center, two back set. He fakes one, he rolls out. It's a screen. That could be taken as a forward lateral. He has to jump on that ball. Dom, I know they was running that screen on that play, but I tell you what, they had some guys wide open on yep. the right side of the field running drags, and the tight end looked like he was coming off the ball from the opposite side to 6 to 12 yards wide open. Um, next time, I think the Bridgewater Badgers coaches will go back to that play and catch that drag coming across the middle. I was worried about that. Not only that, but that that screen they tried to throw, that was a, that was a, looked like a forward lateral. That was a live football. Yes, it did look like it was a live football behind the line of scrimmage. They could have gotten on and took the yep. ball the distance the other way. Smart thinking by the receiver though, he knew that. Riley out of the shotgun. They got him split now, and we have a flag. That was, this is on fourth and 12. That'll come back, make it fourth and 17. Fourth and six, uh, fourth and 17, excuse me. Sitting here on this nice Sunday evening, man. The beautiful sun's coming out. It's a beautiful day. This is football weather. Some people want to sit in a recliner. <laughs> At least we have one fan here. So here we go. Fourth and 17 from the Rams, 34. They are going to set up for a punt. Nice snap. The kick is away. Nice snap. They're going to let it go. See where the ball falls. It looks like it's going to be right around the 20, 23 yard line where the Rams will take over. And this will be the first time we've seen Rams football today. 
You know, the, these these kids are young guys, ninth, eighth grade, and just to see the 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 the, the well taught. Kids, how did you see the snap, Dom? Oh, that was nice. That was, <laughs> that that was, was a right. beautiful snap. Some yeah. kids can't do that in high school nope. or college. And at this level, here we it's go. A number thing. five, Josh Eastman is the quarterback. He keeps it himself. He tries to go off tackle. He sees a big opening. Oh my God, he's at midfield. He's at the 40, the 30, the 20. Touchdown Rams. Oh, baby. First play from line of scrimmage. The Marshfield Rams takes it for 67 yards, 76 yards. At the 427 mark of the first quarter, the Rams draw first blood in this midget contest. And that was the quarterback, Eastman. 67-yard touchdown scamper. Let's see what they do for the point after attempt, if they kick or they go. Eastman stays in the, he's gonna keep it himself, he's gonna run again, and it is good. My, my, my. And just like that. Marshfield Rams. Nice play call by uh, head coach, Andrew Nasqui. Oh, Silence boy. is Sil in the midst of the quad. Silence <laughs> in the stands. That's in the not crowd, good. the Bridgewater Badgers. I think Just that was like a 70, 70, 77 yard scamper. They started at the 23 yard line, the first play from the line of scrimmage. Yep. He took it to the house. Just like that. Just like that, Dom. I tell you, these um, Marshfield Rams, these are some big guys on, on, on their team. Yeah, a bunch of fishermen is what they are. They all they do is fishing out there, right? <laughs> right on the coast. Here's the kick. Well, it looked like they're doing another thing in Marshfield, a little bit of football. Yes, we do. Nice open field tackle. They That's may Brian be Marano. fishing, but they're tackling also. Yes, they are. <laughs> Let's see what they have to answer here. You talked about when they went spread out of the gun, and they had that. They did the screenplay, but they had those guys doing drags. They were there. Let's see if they let's Definitely. see if they go back to that. I think right now that they they have the right mixture of of running the ball. But also, I think Bridgewater needs to open them up a little bit and pass a little bit and get these guys on their toes. Three back set, Riley under center. To give, it looks like it was Murano again. Tackled, was, tackled by number six, Connor, Connor Cow Wicks. Yep. From the Marshfield Rams. The Bridgewater Badgers, they have a nice balanced run attack. If they switch it up a little bit also and, and get Marshfield back on the heels and give them a little pass here and there, I think they'll open it up a little bit more. So that's what they, now it's uh, second and seven from their own 20, uh, from their own 22. Nice play, let's see where they spot the ball. Pfeiffer was the ball carrier, number 12. Christopher Pfeiffer, let's see where they spot the ball. He's gonna be short of about maybe two yards. We'll say second and about two from the 31. Big play right here for the Very Bridgewater Badgers. They go with the three back set, Riley under, under center. It's a dive. Nice wrap up by the Rams. Number three, looked like number three for um, Marshfield Rams, Jack McNeil on the play. It's gonna be a close call. Oh, they're gonna give him the first down. First down, Bridgewater Badgers. 
Followed his spot at the 32 yard line. You were right about the, uh, <laughs> unfortunately about the uh, air leaving the uh, open field here once they, up that first drive by the Rams. Oh yeah, yeah. It's almost like church out here right now. Yes sir, it sucked the air right out of the crowd and right out of the fans of Bridgewater Badgers. But look like the Badgers are coming back with a lone little drive of their own. Number 44 breaks loose for a gain of 13 yards, Don. Nice run by Brian Morano, and that's good enough for a Badger first down. Yes, it is, Dom. It seems like the like I said, the Badgers have has a good running running offense, and they're moving the ball around with the dives and and the yep. traps with the, with yep. the, with the running back. Now they need to open it up a little bit and come back to that running play, that passing play that we saw a little bit earlier. Riley in the center. This time they give it to Morano again. This Morano again, second and about seven, right at midfield. Let's see what they call here at the 141 mark of the first quarter. Riley in the center again. Oh, they got that, they got, oh my God, they got like, uh, I will talk about that in a minute. Mor Morano breaks one, two tackles. Nice run by Brian Morano. What I wanted to mention, Coach, before they hiked the ball, was it looked like they had like nine guys in the box on that. Yeah, yeah. Look like look like the Marshfield Rams are loading that box up, bringing the linebackers down, and trying to stop that run. But they have no answer for number 34 for um, Bridgewater Badgers. He's ripping through that front line. And Marshfield Rams have, they have a big defensive line. Just to give them a nice counter. Again, I believe it's Morano. I guess, no, it's not Morano, it gets the outside, I thought it was. Breaks one, two tackles. Nice run. Rumbling and stumbling. Look how the Marshfield Rams defense are walking back to the huddle yep. Yep. with their heads down. It looked like the Bridgewater Badgers are taking everything out of the, yep. the Marshfield Rams right now. And they have the lead. <laughs> same, yeah, same formation, Riley on the center. Give it to her again, he's gonna go off tackle. Pereira again on the run. Tackle by number nine, Ryan Wheaton. Ryan Wheaton seems like he, he's making a lot of tackles right now on this series. Yes. Number 34 is getting to, to the cornerbacks and the free safeties quicker than they expecting them to. Let's see if they let's see if they have enough time to get the soft 17 seconds in running. Oh, they're gonna let it go. They're gonna let it go. We will step away. You are they're gonna let the timer on the first quarter. We will step away. You're watching four deep sports talks presentation along with uh, Bridgewater Access TV of the Midget Super Bowl game. We'll be right back. Hi everybody, welcome back. Antron Peoples, Dominic Damiano. The Badgers are driving. The give is to Brian Morano. Let's see where they mark the ball. It will be second. Look like number 51 uh, for the Rams was on the tackle, Mr. Um, Sam Crawf Crawford. Yeah. The ball we spotted at the 10. They have to get to the three. So I can even do the math on that one. Second and seven from the 10. <laughs> Riley in the center, another three back set for the Badgers. The give, we'll give you a number in a minute. Sam Crawford on the tackle for the Rams. The ball carrier is number 32. Or, uh, on the for the Badgers. They're saying it was Pfeiffer. Looked like Mr. Crawford made that play, number 51. He's all over the field for the Rams today. He did gain a yard, third and nine, excuse me, third and six from the nine. Just start of the second quarter. We hope you enjoyed our first game for Deep Sports Talk and Bridgewater Access TV brought to you, brought you the uh, Mites game. Those kids were cute as heck, boy, I'll tell you. <laughs> Here we go. In motion was Pfeiffer. The give to Morano. They did not fight. Tackled by a host of, of Marshfield Rams. As you get down in the, within the 20 yard line, which is the red zone, it's kind of it's hard to push the push the ball into the end zone, Dom. The defense gets a little little tighter. Um, the field gets a little smaller, 
and, and it's hard to run your plays that you would run out in the middle of the field. Right. So this is a tough part of the field to punch the ball into the end zone. Um, Look like we got what, fourth? Fourth and three. Fourth and three, dog. From the six, maybe seven. This is big. Play action pass would be big right now. Riley rolls out, it is. He has and, somebody oh on the screen. Oh my goodness. Touchdown, Badgers. Touchdown, Badgers. And Dom, that was the exact same play that they came back to when they did in the first yes. quarter, the screen play. The same exact play. This time for six. Touchdown, Bridgewater Badgers. Six yard Riley's pass, a six yard touchdown pass. And let me see if we got that guy's number on that pass. That was number 86. 86? I think Dom, um, the tight end, 86 or 85, the tight end for the Bridgewater Badgers. Flag in a play. Timeout, timeout Marshfield. Who was that catch? Rabinskis. 86, Andrew Urbanskins on the TD pass. That's just a little screen. Nice call by the Badgers. We'll step away on this break. Here we go for the two point conversion. Riley in the center, he still has the same three back set. Long count. Trying to get something to give. The give is a number 44, that's Bryce Cohen. And he doesn't go in. And on the stop, number nine for Marshfield Rams. Ryan Wheaton, and number three, Jack McNeil. We'll be right back with the kickoff. Riley kicking off, welcome back to Midget Football. Ball taken at the zone 25 of the Rams. Finally knocked out. By Oops. number 54 for the Bridgewater Badgers, Ben Thorne. Jack Perez on the kickoff for chance, four out of bounds by number 54. Let's, let's see where they put mark the ball. Looked like it was at the 40 yard line. It is first and 10. It'll be first and 10 for the Rams at their own 40. We've seen one play, one boot, and <laughs> one 67 yard touchdown run. Yes, sir. Bridgewater Badgers has to find an answer for that quarterback that they have. And Looked they like do he's it running again. again. They run a wildcat with McNeil. And he, this kid can run. I thought that was Eastman. I'm sorry, that was uh, McNeil, number three, Jack McNeil. Look, look like they um, today the Marshfield Rams wants to make it a one-man show. Oh my gosh! You know, I guess and, if it's and, not bro if it's not broken, why fix it, right? If it's not broken, then why fix it, Mr. Jack McNeil? First and 10, now they're down at the Badgers 37 yard line. Looked like they changed it up a little bit. That was Eastman, that was, excuse me, that was McNeil again. Looked like Mr. Lichko came up and made a good tackle on him. Um, somebody grabbed his legs and he came up top and gave him a good whack. Uh, that's that. That's what you have to do to a quarterback that likes to run the ball. You have to put put your hat on the ball, put your hat in his chest, and and, and make him want to stop running it and pitch the ball and give it up. Okay, Eastman checks in, McNeil checks out. So this is this starting quarterback who is under center for the Rams. They go to the same formation, almost the same exact formation the Badgers, to give the number one. He goes off tackle. Richard Reed, the ball carrier. Let's see how much he gets. Could be shy on third down. Brought down by Mr. Worth. Nice play. He almost broke loose, though. Yep, he did. Third, excuse me, third and about four from the 30. Okay, Eastman under center. Three back set for the Rams. The give is number one, Rick and Reed, retreat makes one, two tackles. And that's good enough for a Rams first down. Knocked out of bounds by Mr. Pfeiffer. Looked like at about the 21 yard line. Yep. Bridgewater is gonna have to, have to contain those outside C gaps. 
they're running off to the outside or running with number three. I guess it's a wildcat or something that it, they got going on. It has to be. That's what and it looks he's like. he's getting outside. Quick kid, 5.52 left in the second. Eight to six, the Rams over the Badgers. Same formation, Eastman under center. It's a little counter to Eastman. He's going to try to get outside. What a nice open field tackle. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That was a, that was a nice play by number 20. McNeil checked in. They did that look like a little little fake, the little diversion on the dive, gave it to gave it to McNeil, and uh, Badger football was ready. 5.28 running in the second. Second and about 12 for the Rams on the on the Badger 24. You know, that was a nice play by number 20. He came up and broke down, set his feet, and took his feet away from number three. And that's how you got to tackle down. Little adjustment. Let's see if they get it. Play to Eastman. He breaks one, two tackles. So let's see what he does here. Yeah, McNeil, McNeil again. That's good enough for a Rams first down. It'll be first and goal. If I'm reading those chalk lines right, right around the seven, eight yard line. Rams trying to take the lead, 450 and running. Ball at the seven. What a day for football, Don. Beautiful day. Eastman on the center again. The give is to Richard Reed. Nicely read by the Badgers. David Kelly on the stop, they say. Four eighteen and running. Four oh nine, four oh seven. Same formation for the Rams. Eastman under center. The give is to Reed. He's going to try to go off tackle a little bit. No, touchdown. I apologize. Seven, four yard scamper. Had a couple of Bridgewater badges on the play. They just couldn't hold him out of the end zone. It's a little too close for comfort. They gave yep. him the touchdown. He got the ball over the power line. Marshfield Rams 14. Bridgewater six right now. Yes, sir. Here's for the point after try. They look like they may be going for two, Dom. Yep. Well, they, they use O'Connor Youth Football, does, uses regular football, high school football rules. Timeout. Timeout, time Master. We will step away. You're watching 4 Deep Sports Talk and Bridgewater Access TV's presentation of the Midget Super Bowl game from Legion Field. We'll be right back. Here we go. Extra point. Now they spread the field with double slots. Let's see what they do here. Look like they'll probably run a quarterback draw. Yeah, if it's to Roll McNeil out. again. But well read by that Badger defense. Well read by number 86 for the Bridgewater Badgers, Andrew Rubinskas. That's big. All right, we'll, we'll be right back with the kickoff from Legion Field in Bridgewater. Everybody, welcome back as we kick the ball off at the 3.53 mark of the second quarter. 14 to, 14 to 6 is your score, the Marshfield Rams and the Bridgewater Badgers. Here's the kick. Taken at the 20. Brian, what a nice run by Christopher Pfeiffer, number 12. A nice return by the Bridgewater Badgers. Almost broke it, broke loose. Yep. McLeod on the tackle there. First and 10, right at midfield for the Badgers. Let's see what they do here. Riley in the center, same formation. Looks like the give is to Murano, but he's well read. Could, let me see if it is Murano. Tackled by number 46, number 45 for the Rams. Mr. Adam Griffith. 
So it'll be second and eight from the Rams 48. Look like the Marshfield Rams are playing like a 6-2. They're bringing everybody up on the line in the box and crowding the line as if they know Bridgewater is going to try to run the ball. Oh, they got an out balance out of the shotgun. They have two guys split. Murano coming across to give this to Murano. He takes it. Nice cutback. Yeah, nice cutback. Nice run by Brian Murano. Tackled by number three for the Marshfield Rams, Jack McNeil. But he made a good comeback. They faked it up top and came back yep. underneath with the run. And um, number three for the Bridgewater Badgers made a nice cutback. He did. He really did. That Brian Murano's playing a good game. That's how you want your running backs to run the ball. Yep. Stop on the dime and cut back and get in that lane and get upfield. All right, here we go. Second and three from the 42. Riley in the center. The give to Murano again, I believe. See where they spot. He might be short. A nice hit by number 44 and three for the Marshfield Rams came up and um, is a shorter for first down, Don. Yep. Yep. Fourth down and one. Fourth and one from the 41. Riley in the center. They go with double slots again. Two receivers. And it's a keeper. And this time, the diversion on the double slots. And that's good enough for uh, Badgers first down. Spread the field. Saw a hole. Read that guy to that center's butt. Right. Enough for a first down. Stopped by number 45 on the play for the Marshfield Rams, Adam Brithett. But he couldn't do much for, with that play. Um, they were in the A gap uh, of the um, offense. And all the quarterback had to do was get a little lean and a little push, and he had the first down, Don. Double slots again. Murano in motion. They give it to him. And now it's a reverse number seven. They might throw the ball. It looks like he's going to throw it downfield. And it's no good. I think they wanted a flag. That was clean coverage. Yeah, that was real clean coverage, Dom. Um, the play took a little too long to de develop. And um, the tight end, number 86, had his defender beat for a little while. And the free safety came over and, and recovered. And um, incomplete pass, no pass interference. Number 86, I thought he may be a little tall enough to go up and yep. get it. But, nice um, play by Stork. He rolled out on a double reverse. I thought he was going to run it. He looked like he had real estate, but they gave it a shot downfield. Thank God it wasn't intercepted. Second and 10 from the 38. Shotgun again. Murano in motion away. Riley drops back. He has somebody downfield just oh. out of the reach. My, Inten my, my. Intended for Christopher Fife. He Feifer. got in the zone, Dom, uh, underneath the free safety, and um, quarterback overthrew him. Yep. A couple of yards. So here we go. Third and 10 from the 30. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. 118 left in the second quarter. We hope you enjoy this presentation of Old Colony Football Super Bowl action. I think the Bridgewater Badgers, they, they've loosened up the Marshfield Rams defense right now. You can see that they've went into cover two. And um, I think they're back to pass. Like a screen, Could be look a like screen a screen. It is. Back, well read, though, by the Marshfield Rams. That'll bring up fourth down. They came back once again with that screen to number 86. That looked like the go to play, Don. Yes, it did. Gave it away too much out of the shotgun. Not enough drama and. Uh, Body English to pull it off that time. Yeah, you we know, um, timeout, timeout, Marshfield. We'll step away. You are listening to Four Deep Sports Talk and Bridgewater Access TV presentation of Old Colony Youth Football. We'll be right back. Oh, okay. Hands right, everybody, spot. welcome yeah. back. Yeah, 54 yeah, yeah, yeah. seconds yeah, left yeah, in the right. second quarter. Yeah. 14 to 6 is the score. The Marshfield Rams and the Bridgewater Badgers shotgun again. Riley to give this to number 12. It could be a pass. It is. He's trying to look, from, look for somebody. He has somebody. He's going to be sacked. Oh, and he is. Big loss. Great field possession for the Rams on that one, Coach. Yeah, you, you, at, in that situation, Dom, you, you have to get rid of the ball. Yeah. It's the fourth down. 
you, you, you don't see anybody open. Let you outside the tackle box. Let the ball go out of bounds so you won't lose that m many yards. Now you have a, a field, a, a transition of yards. Yes. That's got you in your in your, on your side of the field now, and th that was a bad um, decision by the quarterback for the Bridgewater Badgers. Yeah, Pfeiffer, Christopher Pfeiffer took the ball on the handoff from Riley and tried to make something, but I don't even, you know, them kids is ta tall. I, I don't think he realized he had guys open. Here right. we go again. Definitely. We got a timeout, timeout. Bridgewater will step away again. You're listening to, y'all listening, listen to me, listen to y'all watching <laughs> for Deep Sports Talk's presentation of right. Old Colony Youth Football. We'll be right back. Hi everybody, welcome back. Antron Peoples, That's Dominic it. Damiano, four deep sports talk presentation of the O'Connor football game of the week here, the Super Bowl game. The first and 10 for the Rams at their own 50. Eastman keeps the ball, he's gonna try to get to the outside. This time they are definitely watching Eastman a lot more than they did on that first play, coach. That was a nice play by number 54 for the Bridgewater Badgers. Ben Thorne, he ran down number three. Oh, they go to trips game. to one side. Eastman's the quarterback, he fades. He has somebody, but broken up. By number 54 again, Mr. Ben Thorne. That yeah. was almost an interception by Mr. Thorne. Yeah. But they have to be aware of number nine streaking down the middle of the field that yes. was getting in that zone of the cover two um, defense of the Bridgewater Badgers. He was wide open, Dom. Yep. You might have had to do a Brady-like throw to squeeze it in there, but <laughs> he was wide open. Yep. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Ten seconds. Antron Peoples, Dominic Damiano. 6-14. Uh, 6-14 is your score. Easterman in the shotgun. He has trips to his right. He folds back. He fires the ball across the field, and it is caught. A great catch by number nine. Um, they're running that trips offense. Nice heads up play. One running second. Into the run line of scrimmage with one second. We'll step away one more time. The last time out of the first half. Again, four deep sports talk presentation of Old Colony Youth Midget Super Bowl action. We'll be right back. All right, buddy, welcome back. La this could be the last play of the first half. It is. Hold on, Not why, why before, did... let's see what we have, before Bridgewater oh, takes a timeout. They... And, and we'll step away one more time. We'll be right back. Here we go. One second left. One Here second left from the 10. In the first half, the pitch. To Eastman, he has someone open. Touchdown Rams. What a play with one second left. Oh, baby. A great play, one second left. He almost got tackled in the backfield by a Bridgewater defender. Barely got it off. Good throw, good catch. Touchdown, yeah. Marshfield Rams. That was Eastman with one second left in the second. No, that wasn't Eastman, that was McNeil. I apologize, McNeil to number seven. Let's see what they do, hit the point after try. He faked the roll, and he has somebody wide open. Point at the try is good. That's the end of the half. That's the end of the half. We will step away with your score. The Mans Marshfield Rams 22 in the Bridgewater Badges 6. <laughs>
Welcome back to uh, second half action. Antron Peoples, Dominic D'Amiano. It looks like it's going to be uh, first and 10 for the Rams as they defer to the second half, right at, the own, right at their own 48. And we've seen some uh, very athletic team, this Rams team, I'm very surprised. I really, I was, I knew they had big kids there, but not this athletic. I was really caught off. Yeah, they, they have a lot of athletic kids on their team. Big kids, good size. Number three, he is an athlete. Eastman under center. They load the box. For, here comes McNeil. He breaks one, two tackles. This kid is picking up the same the same steam he had in the first quarter. Yes, he, he is. He's continuing where he left off. Yes. Um, they have some good blocking, and um, he's reading the holes and cutting back. We Bridgewater Badgers ha has to find a solution to um, Mr. stop McNeil. this problem. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Good, because he is a problem. First and 10 for the Rams at the Badgers, 40. Eastman under center, three back set with a, no, two back set with a slot back. Looks like they give it to number one. They do, that's Richard Reed. And tackled by number 47 for the Bridgewater Bat. Um, Badgers, Dan Boyle, grabbed his shirt and held on and um, yep. pulled him down. This brings up second and about seven from the Badgers, 37. Right now the score is 22 to six, just under nine minutes left in the third. They don't want to get in any more trouble right here, Coach. They really can't afford to get behind anymore. Definitely can't. Um, Bridgewater Badgers need to step up right here and make a play and um, stop Marshville from getting in the end zone this time. The pitch is to, to McNeil, who tries to break away, but he was forced in. Nice job by that defensive end to make, force him in. I don't believe that was a set play. I believe that was a regular sweep. Yes, it was. It was um, a nice, nice play by Danny Boyle. Um, turned the play back in, and it, the Bridgewater Badgers gang tackle. They, they need to gang tackle. Yep. Uh, 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 this number three for Marshfield Rams. Yeah, and that's Jack McNeil. This kid's a ball player. The whole offensive unit's clicking really well in the Super Bowl game in the shotgun, and that's McNeil again in the shotgun. They go to that wildcat where they scored that first touchdown on that first set. A direct snap to number three, and he just takes it off the um, tackles, but C gap and, and tries to make whatever he can out of that. First and 10 from the 39. From the 29, I apologize, it's 39, I meant 29. There I go again, not the Bridgewater counting. Badges has maybe bend but don't break defense. They, they don't need to break on this series. Easterman under center, long count, eye formation, the toss to number seven, the ball's fumbled! Let's see who gets the ball. Look like the Bridgewater Badgers got on the ball. A turnover is what the Bridgewater Badgers need right now. Up, second second down. down. How did the Marshfield Rams get that ball back? I don't know. The, the pitch was intended on the sweep to, for Paris. And you, when he fell, all I saw was the ball out of his feet and two Badgers go in. <laughs> right, right, right. And how did he come up with it? But I that's don't know. something. The Bridgewater needed that break right there. Now it's um, second down and 16, maybe 16 right now, but they did need that break. So maybe this will help Bridgewater and take a little pressure if they stop number three. They don't need a big run right here, something big to happen. They go to the Wildcat again, load it up for McNeil, who breaks off. Looks like that looked like a little trap. Gain of about three, bring up third down. See where they spot the ball. Look like it's on the 34-yard line, Dom. Um, yep. Third and long right here. This is a big play right here for the Bridgewater Badgers. Yeah, they need this. They need to get. To, they need they to stop really the need, momentum. Correct. They really need this because um, they don't need another score. Wildcat again, but this time it's a pass. Flag comes in. McNeil takes off, breaks one, two tackles. Flag on the play, folks. We have a flag on the play. Look like he made, 
made a good play. He, he it, it was supposed to be a pass play, Dom, and he pulled oh, up. Man. He pulled up and he took off and ran with the ball. Um, they have to be aware of that. Luckily, they got a holding on the play. Right. Well, so that'll back him up 10 yards. That'll put the Rams in a little bit of a spot here. Good big break for the Badgers. Oh, the yes, it was. Every now, every now and then, a, a break doesn't is all comes in handy. I tell you what, um, if the Bridgewater Badgers were smart, they would spy number three. Yeah. Um, definitely try to spy him because he's rolling out, and when he rolls out, he has nothing but daylight. Trips to the far, far away from us. Easterman in the shotgun, he rolls back, he looks. Now he's gonna run and run, run, try to get something out of nothing. Well covered by that secondary of the Badgers to force a fourth down. Looked like it was Bryce Blanchard that came up and made the tackle on number five, the quarterback, the starting quarterback. Now number five, he doesn't have much speed as number three. Um, right. So it, oh, you mean it, McNeil? Yes, sir. McNeil. And so, so he couldn't get out on the, on that corner and and, and get the, to daylight. So number number 52, I think that's Blanchard, um, zoned in on him and made the tackle for a loss. First down is the 18. They need to get to the 18. Back to punt, and they do. Line drive kick taken by the Badgers. Let's see where they got. He's gonna try something, making on nothing. He makes it all, all the way back up to the 21. Of course, that was Christopher, I believe it was Christopher Pfeiffer on that return. First and 10 for the Badgers on their own 22 yard line. Let's see what happens Looked like here. the Bridgewater Badgers got a lucky break on that last series, Dom, and um, now they got the ball back and let's see what they can do with it. Riley on the center, the give to, I believe that's Brian Morano again. Stopped by number 45 and 51 of the Marshville Rams for a short game. Looks like they might possibly gained one, second and nine from their own 23, no, second and two from their own 20, yeah, 23, 24 yard line. Let's see what they come up with now. Riley in the center, three back set. Long count, they load the box to give the Murano. He breaks one, two tackles. Nice run. Gain of about six. Tackled by Mr. Um, Reed, number one for the Rams. Came up and gave him a good whack, and left him at third and one, Dom. 3.50 and running in the third quarter, quarter excuse me, 22 to six. The Marshfield Rams currently over the Bridgewater Badgers. Third and one from their own 31. Riley, the give to no brainer, Brian Moroni. Brian Morano. Morano, excuse me. And that's good enough for a Badger first down. Yes, it will, Dom. Tackled by number 45 and number 51 on the Rams. Um, the Bridgewater Badgers, they have a good running attack but they have to punch it in the end zone once they get down in the red zone. They yes, have sir. to get it in the end zone. They taking all the time off the clock, getting in the red zone, and um, they got to punch it in. Riley in the center, Josh Pereira has just checked out. In motion to give to Murano, I believe that's Murano. Brian Murano on the carry. It is. Tackled by number 45 by the Rams, which is Adam Briffitt. And I think number 51, maybe. 50, no, number five, Eastman was a quarterback. Was it number five, Eastman. You know, it's, it's, it's turning so fast on us, Coach. Yeah. It's hard to pick up all right. these numbers. <laughs> Second and five from their own 41. Riley on the center, long count to give the Murano again, but this time he's hit hard by number 51. Number 51, Mr. Crawford, Sam yeah. Crawford. That was back pursuit. Textbook back pursuit, nice play by the Rams. Yes, sir. Nice play by number 51, Mr. Crawford, the down lineman for the Rams. We are approaching the two-minute mark in the third quarter. 
Beautiful day here in Bridgewater. Nice football. Oh, yeah. November day here, Sunday evening. Riley in the center. He rolls out fake to Murano. He's looking for somebody on the screen. He throws it away. Now, that, <laughs> that wasn't, that looked like roughing the passer. Yeah, After that, he reliefs the ball, the ref followed the ball with his head. No disrespect to the official. And as he turned to watch the receiver try to make an unbelievable catch, which was overthrown anyway, the oncoming defender took the quarterback's head and put him into the turf. Fourth and fourth and about seven. We tried to give him a little carpet muncher. Oh, yes, he did. That's, <laughs> thank you. That's exactly what he did. Let's see what they do. I would think they're going to uh, kick the ball. Probably no, no brainer here. It, they are. They got to kick it away from six. number three, though. Don't kick it directly no, to him. No, don't kick it to him. And oh, they faked fake. it. And oh, and caught. he caught it. What a catch. <laughs> number nice 83. Play. That's Robert Long. Nice catch by Robert on the fake. Tackled by number nine, Ryan Wheaton, for the Rams. Bridgewater Badgers stunned the Rams with a fake punt. Stunned me. <laughs> Riley under center, three back set. Give to Murano. No, that's not Murano. Checking back into the game was number 32, Joseph, Joseph Pereira. He, he gains about five, second and five from the 40. It's a nice tackle by Rams number 44, 40. Mr. Dunn, linebacker. Um, the linebacker for Marshfield Rams. Made a nice little tackle after a five-yard scamper. Here we go again. Same formation. No wideouts. Riley under center. Long count. It's a pitch to Joseph Pereira. He breaks one. Drop the ball. Let's see who recovers the ball. Fumble on the play. Recovered by the Badgers. My, my, my. Badgers ball. Lost. Big loss on the play after that nice momentum on that special team's trickery there. Right, right. We... we Bridgewater Badgers can't afford to lay the ball on the ground. No. Um, they're down right now by 16 points. Um, they got a good drive going, and, and there's no way that we they can win this game if they continue to go backwards rather than go forward. Um, the worst thing about this is we are almost done. They've owned most of the third quarter. Right, right, exactly, Dom. Now they split with a two-back set out of Wishbone. Riley drop, drops straight back. He throws it up. And it is incomplete. This will bring up fourth down. Look like the um, Marshfield Rams now. They, they've checked in to cover two. Yep. And um, they're, they're aware of Bridgewater Badgers' passing capabilities. They do have some good receivers and good tight ends, and they're dropping back and getting their linebackers in their drops. Yep. And the free safeties are staying over the top, waiting for the long pass. Quarterback for Bridgewater State, um, Bridgewater State. I know, right? <laughs> Bridgewater Badgers has a nice arm. He does. He really does. He definitely can throw the ball. Okay, here we go. Fourth and 12. And they're going for the 46. It. Shotgun is Riley. Let's see what they do here. He fakes it, and he tries it. What's McCall? Almost intercepted. He threw it behind his receiver, number, number six for a Marshfield Rams, Connor Cal Cowicks. Almost had an interception. If he would have caught that, Dom, he might have went the distance with He might have. Uh, 83 was the intended receiver, Robert Long. Mr. Long, the, the slant was wide open yep. for um, the Badgers. They should definitely come back to that play. Yep. Yes, sir. Nine seconds left to end the fourth quarter of play. Nine seconds, right? Three seconds. For third quarter, third quarter. I said fourth again. Here we go again. Eastman on the center. It's a straight dive this time. And he runs. He almost, oh, my God, what a run by number 22. Neil Perry. Tackled by number 54 and number that will, 21, number 12. That, That'll end the third quarter. We'll step away one more time before we yes, come sir. back with the fourth quarter with your score. 
The Moshfield Rams 22, the Bridgewater Badgers 6. We'll be right back. That's fine. Here we go, first and 10 for Marshfield. We start the fourth quarter. Richard Reed the carry. That was Richard Reed, the ball carrier. That'll bring up second and about five for the Rams. Kelly on the tackle, playing put it up a five, second down. A host of Bridgewater Badgers on the tackle. There you go. Um, they need more of that um, gang tackling, you know, the, to stop number three. They they have to make a big stop right here and, and get a score in this series right here, Dom. Game is not out of reach. It's definitely not out of reach. But um, the Bridgewater Badgers need, need a touchdown right now. They go Quick. high formation with Eastman as a slot, with uh, McNeil as a slot back. To give us a Robert Reed, he's gonna try to break to the outside. Richard Reed, excuse me. Ryan Barrier on the tackle. That was a gain about maybe three or four. Let's see where they mark the ball. Yeah, it looked like it might have been a gain of three or four, Dom. Um, third and short. Third and short. Third and one from the 31. Eastman is under center. He has McNeil the threat as as a slot back, but they give it to Richard Reed. Oh my. Nicely read by that Badger defense. Nicely read. Stopped by number 58 for um, the Bridgewater Badgers, Mr. David Kelly. A nice stop on that on that play there. Now leaves him with a fourth down and possibly two. Um, and maybe have an opportunity to get the ball back and do what they need to do is score. Let's see what they do here. We have just reached the eight minute mark in the fourth quarter, 22 to six is your score. They go back to the same formation with McNeil as a slot. Eastman under center. The give is to McNeil on a little counter play. And that might be good enough for a Marshfield first down. Yeah, it looked like it was a Marshfield first down and um. That was a big play. Bridgewater, the Badgers needed a stop right there to get the ball back with seven minutes and 36 seconds left. The clock's ticking. Let's see what we do here. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. 7.20 and running, first and 10 at the Badgers 26. Eastman under center, McNeil as a slot, Reed as a running back. It's a fake to both, but he does get, but he falls down over his own power. Chris White, first time we've heard him all day. Yes, sir. First time they got a whole lot of athletes on their Rams team. Um, that is to, to defend the play was number 34 for the Bridgewater Badgers, Brian Morano. Now I was told in the regular season, this game was tied 18-18. And it seems like Marshfield corrected that game, coming into this game by opening the field big time. Yeah, they may have went went back to the drawing board and did a little studying and little, did a little film watching. East and um, they East got a lead right now. <clears throat> yes, the pitch is to McNeil, who's now the running back. Reed throws a block, but the badges are there to get him. Led by number 13 on the end to come and set that up and turn the ball back in. 13 for the Bridgewater Badgers, Justin Worth. And then a slew of, of linebackers came and got the cut back and clean, cleaned his clock. Yep. <laughs> Just reaching the six minute mark of the fourth quarter here. They're taking their sweet time as they finish this. Yes, they are. They're trying to run that clock down, Dom. Um, Trying not to give the ball back to the Badgers. They're controlling the clock. And that's one thing you can do once you have the lead is control that clock. Eastman under center. And he lost the ball. He almost lost the ball. I believe that was intended. For, I, I believe that was. Timeout. That was the linebacker for the Bridgewater Badgers. Uh, Mr. Bowen. Time out of the field, folks. 
We'll step nice away, play. right? We'll step away. One nice play, exactly. We'll step away. You are listening to Four Deep Sports Talk presentation of Super Bowl Sunday. We'll be right back. There's their Here trips. There's back. their trips. Eastman is in the shotgun. He's rolling back on a screen, the number nine. He's going to try to get up field. He breaks one, two tackles. Ryan Wheaton is now stepping into this ball game, being a big factor for the Rams. They're using a little trickery, the Marshfield Rams are. They ran, they had a screen set up on both sides, um, the trip side and the back side of trips. And um, the Brid Bridgewater Badgers didn't know which side the ball was going to. A um, couple of the players over pursued and number nine cut back to the middle of the field and got a couple of yards. Just under the five minute mark. First and 10 at the Badgers, 14. They need to get a stop here. Eastman is under center. Reed is a running back to give to the fullback. He breaks one, two tackles, cuts He's back in. Of course, that was number 22, right, Neil Perry. Out. That's only, I believe, his second carry of the game. Stopped by number 47 for the Bridgewater Badgers. Oh, this whole fourth quarter has been all Rams football. Here we go, second and three from the eight. They give the number seven, he cuts one, two tackles. Paris was the ball carrier. First and goal, probably at the two. What do we do here, coach? Load the box. Gotta load the box, gotta tighten them up, bring you, bring you, um, look like Bridgewater's running a 3-4 defense. They gotta bring those linebackers up in the A-gap, um, stunt. Shade your nose guard, let him shoot a gap. Got to tighten everything up. C gaps look like Marshall would always like to run to the C gap. So I would, I would definitely bring those. Eastman a little right dive. up the middle. Touchdown. 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 Rams in the fourth. Mr. Perry just darted in the end zone um, to give Marshfield a 22-point lead. 28 to six, Marshville. Where's my pen? I'm trying to find my pen. I'm all miscon misconfused. <laughs> Miscombobulated here. Yes, sir. The point after try. Eastman under center. He rolls out. See what he does, but nice pursuit. We will be right back with the kickoff. Kind of like Tennessee. Everybody, welcome oh. back. Antron Peoples, Dominic Damiano, 28 to 6. He just scored at the 320 mark. Neil Perry scored from two yards out. Here's the kick. Oh, he might go all the way. He could go. Yes. And just like that. What a nice run. What a nice run. And now the Badgers, where's your, well, there we go, I just gotta write my notes here. And the Badgers answer back with their own scoring off special teams. Number 12 for the kickoff return, Chris, Christopher Pfeiffer, for like a 65, 70 yard scamper to the end zone. Let's see how they do here on the special teams. <laughs> just like that. Just like that, Dom. Unbelievable. Let's he see how the they middle, answer. He hit the middle of the of the kickoff returns of the line, and, and the middle, in between the hashes, are the most soft spot of the um, kickoff team. Riley in the shotgun. The and the pass is incomplete. The 307 mark. They answer back. And it's an onside, just like Coach called. Recovered by the Badgers. Uh, 
And I said they needed an onside <laughs> kick, Coach. Um, look like that's what they did. And a good on onside kick it was. Yes. And um, Bridgewater's ball. With 3.07, they got to score early and fast, right? And they got to score fast right now. Let's see what formation they come with. They have all off balance, two receivers to the right. Riley under center. Look at the quick slant up he top. He does a straight Number drop 12. back. He's going to try to lead. He has a receiver. And it's almost intercepted. Number 12 didn't even run the route to his full capability. He was kind of coming off the ball like he didn't think he was going to get the ball come thrown to him. Exactly. Um, like he wasn't if, even expecting it. Maybe if he would have ran his route a little bit more stronger, Dom, yeah. that would have been a nice play for a good game. So here we go. Third, second, and 10 from the 47. I think they need to go back to that twins right up top with the slot down low and run a quick slant up top to the the slot receiver. Let's see if they He'll do be it. wide open. Let's see if they do it a shot. And here comes a linebacker, Riley back to pass. He has somebody, and it's intercepted. The Rams will take over just like that. And that might be what all she wrote, depending the way the Rams have been controlling the ball. In that was an interception by number eight for Marshfield Rams. Oh, let's try that. Well, you're right. That was uh, Friedel, Christian Friedel. Mr. Friedel. 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 I'm sorry, Christian Friedel. So here we go. First and ten for for the Rams at their own 35. Oh, here we go. No, I no, think right. I think um the quarterback for Bridge the, the Badgers was looking the wrong way. He should have went to the twin side. The linebacker is in on the slot inside slot guy. There's no way he could cover that slot, man. Yeah. 254, 28 to 12 is your score, live from Legion Field. Eastman under center. He gives it to number one. I believe that's Richard Reed. Nice Woo. pursue on the ball. Nice by the hit Badgers. by number 36. I think it was. Came in and closed in on number one. They're going to take a timeout. We're going to take a timeout. You're watching OCYFO Midges Super Bowl action. We'll be back after this. Right, everybody, welcome back. Antron Peoples, Dominic Damiano, 248 left in this game. Rams take second and nine. The pitch is to McNeil. He cuts one, first down and more. This kid has been a workhorse the whole the game. The Jack well, McNeil well, again. Play was good enough for a first down. That was a nice run running. by number three, but number 38 for, for Bridgewater, 36, I'm not for sure if it's yeah. number, I can't. Um, he's playing that sweet. And for the badges, number 18. Great. He's playing, he's doing well. He's coming up and setting the corner. He might want to be pacing a little bit because he's getting there too quick yep. for the pursuit to catch up with him. Well, they took a break. We'll take a break again. You are listening to Four Deep Sports Talks coverage of Old Colony Youth Football, Super Bowl, Mitchell Super Bowl, the Rams in the Badges. We'll be right back. Hey, welcome back. Here we go. Timeout's over. He, they switch. Oh, they're switching quarterbacks now. Number 25 is the quarterback. Look like they put they put their JV guys the JV, in. JV, that's uh, the number two guys. Um, Look like both both teams have put their JV squad they in. The, yeah, looks like they got a did. whole host of new players. And you know that I mean that's that's a good thing though, Dom. You know we got a minute, two minutes left in the right. game, and we want to get everybody involved and have to give them an opportunity to get get some action in the Super Bowl game. So we got the young guys in now. Catanoso is now the quarterback, and I was taken. Oh, it was fumble. a fumble. Re recovered by the recovered badges. By the badges. Now, if the Badgers score. <laughs> oh, my God. Let's see what happens here. What happens then? If the Badgers score and get two points, what what will happen then, Dom? Oh, if they get two points, that'll, <laughs> yeah, I know, right? That'll make it uh, tw oh, we got to have a ball game. Down by eight points. The JVs are in. The JVs are in. Looks like they called in. a timeout. We will step away one more time from Legion Field and Bridgewater. The play right now. 
We want to try to get you some numbers <laughs> as soon as we can. Coach, you have the other bullets. We'll switch programs. Yes, sir. Number 11, uh, Cody Peach. Am I saying that right? Keach, Peach. He is now the quarterback on this JV squad. The give is a, it's a fullback dive. And this, look at this kid run. Oh, boy, he's taking everybody Mark with him. <laughs> Mark Samo, that's good enough for a first down. Rumbling. 126 and running. Looked like he had the whole host of um, Marshville Rams on his back. Right. And he carried them for about 10 yards now. It's good to see these young guys get in and get some minutes in a big game like this. Um, you know, to be excited and, and be able to get out here on the field in, in front of this wonderful crowd today, Dom. This yeah, is Pete good. Yeah, Peach under center, the givers to number seven. He tries to get to the outside. John That's John Stork. Tackled by number 33 for the Rams, um, Joseph Donovan. Let's see what happens here. 42 seconds. I think it's safe to say congratulations to the Marshfield Rams for winning the Midget Championship for 2012. I think that's fair to say, Dom. Um, good game, though, on both sides of the ball. You know, a couple of big plays. Um, number three, 22 scoring today. I mean, um, I, I just don't think the Badgers had an answer for um, the number three. On a rollout, and it's caught. Wow. That'll stop the clock, but 10 seconds is left. I believe it's oh, tackled by number 25 and number 13 for the Marshfield Rams. But that was a great pitch and catch. Oh, my God, that was nice. little JV guys for the Bridgewater Badgers. That lets you know um, what they have to come up the chute yeah. in a couple more years. All right, with 10 seconds away, we, I believe this is our last time out for, uh, for this game. We will be right back with more action. To live action. John Tesson in the game for the Badgers. Peach on the center. He rolls out. Now he's going to try to go the other way. Yes, somebody wide open. Let's see if he hits him. Oh, just out of the reach. That's nice the try. Antenna for number, uh, oh, number 82, 82 looked like Dom. Thiessen, John Tyson. Looked like he had enough room to take it to the end zone, Dom. Um, he pulled up and gave his best Brady impression. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and tried to throw it in the end zone to number 82. Let's see what they do here. We'll give you a little bit of wrap-up of today after this game. We'll have our camera girl finally get off her chair. <laughs> See what happens here. With four seconds left, Peach in the center, lone setback. He rolls out again. And he's going to try for the end zone, and it's knocked down. <laughs> and it's broken up by number 21 and for the Marshfield Rams. And that would be um, Vincent Napolitano. With that, congratulations to the Marshfield Rams. We will have a little recap. Hey, welcome back, Dominic Damiano, Antron Peoples. And we've had a chance to see some great football today. Great football today, man. We um watching the midgets and, and also the um, um the young guys. Oh yeah, the mites. Yep. The mites. It, we, we've had some great games here today. Um Bridgewater didn't come out with the victories in the, either of the championship yep. games, but um it was a wonderful game. Um Marshfield Rams and also the other team, the Hingham. Um, oh, the Hingham Raiders, right? The Hingham yep. Raiders and um, wonderful football g games today here in um, Bridgewater. And um, the mecca of junior pro football is what yep. I, I see here. A lot of, lot of fundamental football, well-run teams, on, even on the boats, winning and losing side, just fun to watch. Very fun to watch. And, um, you know, here there's great programs, great programs here today. Um, four great programs that we... Um, watch today in these games and um i had a good time dom i had i had a great time I had some good football missing sunday football right now but hey i feel like i i didn't miss sunday football so um, it had a good time here today right. once again for antron people's karen lively our camera girl i'm dominic damiano we hope you enjoyed four deep sports talk presentation along with bridgewater access tv of 
the Mite Super Bowl Matthews and the Midget Super Bowl. We'll catch you all next time. 12, Take care.